The playground's fun. There's so many things to skate. It's pretty fun. I actually feel pretty comfortable. Right there, man. Wow! See, that worked. I was pretty scared, though. That was pretty good. But then again, it's scary, so scary. Bronte was trying kickflip back Smith. There's foam, and you could try tricks into the foam, but I don't know, I like to take it the dangerous way. My name is Elijah Roshan, and I'm 16 years old, and I'm from Chicago, Illinois. Woodward, to me, is the greatest place in the world, and it's been like the best week of my life so far. I first heard about Woodward through the Camp Woodward show. It was in like my recommended list on YouTube. I was watching every Monday. As they'd go through the different parks and spots, I'd like plan out what I was gonna do. Like, oh, I wanna try to kickflip this or ollie this. It was like so cool to finally get here and see this stuff from the videos and be like, it was just unreal. One of the most fun sessions I had was when it was me and Barante and we were skating the six rail into the foam pit. He was trying the kickflip Smith and then I was trying to get the Bennett grind. Oh, that was it! So close! It's getting there, it's gonna it's going to get it. Hey, I got you right here, get my back. Even getting it on the foam, I was so hyped. Dude, I'm so pumped right now. And then I know for a fact he could get that kickflip Smith. Oh! I'm getting there, but I'm turning my shoulders a little too much. So I feel if I keep them a little straighter, I'll lock in better. So I'm gonna try that this try. Uh, back up just a little bit so your toes are on there. So I'm a digital media camper here at Woodward. And basically, since it was girls week, I wanted to get a bunch of portraits of all the visiting pros. Today is kind of our crazy studio day. We had a barrage of girls coming in. I love that you know one of our star students wanted to come and set things up, and she really took a lot of initiative uh, to get all those girls in here. I thought that was really awesome. Squeeze in as much as we can. There's a big space in the middle if anybody wants to get there. One of the best things about being here is the opportunity to work with you know pro athletes and stuff like that. We love to get people like that in here, uh, get them shooting, interacting with the kids. All right, thank you guys. Megan, she was really nice. Her and Candy were messing around. I can't be normal. But yeah, she was really nice. It was cool meeting her. Yes! <laughs> yes. No, don't say. Can we get a quiet on set? Take a seat. <laughs> oh man, it's bright. Which one do I look at? You're gonna look at me. We're having a conversation, you know? Just kind of explain how long you've been skateboarding and how you got into it. I started skateboarding when I was around nine. My neighbor across the street, I saw him skating. His name was Jake. And I was like, dude, how do you do that? I fell in love with it from like the very first time I skated. Just being a girl and skating, like what is that like? I mean, growing up there weren't hardly any girls. I just didn't know that other girls even skated to begin with. So I was just with a bunch of my friends and everything and I would skate. And everybody was kind of like, dude, you just got shown up by a girl. And like, they said that and I was kind of like, does that even matter though? Like skateboarding is skateboarding, no matter gender, race, religion, whatever it is, skateboarding is skateboarding and it will always be like that. That's how it should be. But skating with the boys, you know, it's whatever. You gotta do it. <laughs> like, especially at Woodward, yeah. like being girls week and stuff, like what is it like to just have all these girls here like shredding? Dude, the sessions are so much fun. 
Everybody's killing it, hyping each other up. I feel like it's a different vibe skating with guys versus girls. And skating with girls is more of a camaraderie. It's like kind of like more of a family thing. Skateboarding has become like yeah. so much of your life. Like what is that like with the opportunities and things you've gotten to do? Like yeah, what's dude. been your favorite parts and stuff? Skateboarding has completely enveloped who I am as a person. Just how I look at everything and the way that I just see things. Like, and by that I mean you're driving somewhere and you see a stair set and you're like, dude, stair set. I wake up every day and I'm like, dude, I gotta brush my teeth. I gotta go skate right now. Every day I wake up every day and that's the only thing I wanna do. It's consumed my thoughts, it's just completely taken over. All right, that's it. Cool. I hope Thank I didn't so blow much. it. No, that was awesome. It was perfect. You rock. Is this your first time at Woodward? No, this is actually my fifth year. Really? Mm -hmm. This is my first time. Really? Yeah. No. Yeah. I've been trying to get up here since I was nine. Oh my gosh. Dude, same. I've been wanting to come here my whole life. Finally here. Made it. Life goal achieved. Just finished up. Did an interview, took a group picture. It was a lot of fun. Everybody at digital media is killing it right now. There's cameras everywhere. Everybody got interviews and stuff, headshots. We're good to go. Yeah, we chilling. You chilling. We chilling. Chilling. We good. We good. I just found out that Gary just got back to camp and I really haven't seen him in a long time. I don't even think he knows I'm here, so I'm gonna try to surprise him and thank him for letting me come back and give me another chance to camp. Hey, about time. It's you in so long, dude. I got something for you. You remember last season, flashback, when Gary was like, Demonte, Demonte, Demonte. Demonte, Demonte, Demonte. Demonte, Demonte, Demonte. It's a signature now. Do you know how many times I had to say this this summer? <laughs> how many times? Well, you had to see it out there. All the kids are asking about it. Demonte, Demonte, Demonte. Is that crazy? It was. Every time somebody says DeMonte's name, someone around is like, DeMonte, DeMonte, DeMonte. So everything going well? Everything's going amazing. It was really good to see Gary again. And I really didn't really know what to say. I was nervous. How have you been? I miss seeing you. I'm like all nervous. You should have seen me before this. I was like, is he, oh, is he there? Oh, OK, OK, OK. Seen Gary for the first time in a year. He's the most amazing person. And just wanted to thank him so much for bringing me back to camp. He actually liked the shade, it was so tight. And now DeMonte, DeMonte, DeMonte is now a signature around camp. My name is Legendary. There's Gary. Hi, Hi Gary. Gary. Hey guys, where are you from? Spain. Spain? Yeah. Spain? Yeah. Like the Spain? Yeah. Hey Gary. How you doing? Hey Gary. Hey, what's your name? Matic. Matic? Gary's shirt is so sick. People are like looking at it and they're like, Oh, I remember that from Camp Woodward season seven. That's a sick shirt. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, got it. Gary, I gotta get a picture of you in this shirt. This is the best thing that I've seen all day. Gary's the man. <laughs> is this not the shirt? And Gary's just got the biggest smile on his face. Gary's the sweetheart. I love that guy. He's so nice. Me and my friend Elijah are eating wings. And the challenge is I have to eat more wings than DeMonte. And from what I hear, he ate 500. So I'm gonna at least try to eat 500 in one. This is some juicy USDA approved, all natural, 100% white chicken meat, stuck on the bone still, fried up and served deliciously with a nice side of buttered noodles and green beans. It's super hot, so me and Bronte is gonna go swimming. Sick. We took a couple slams on the log thing or whatever. I think it just challenges your balance or something like that. I don't know. It probably challenges your balance, but also it challenges your slams. Having fun. <laughs> Can't complain. Oh my god, he's getting so folded. He slipped and just sacked and just sat there for like five seconds and then just like 
way in the pool and it was insane. Ah! Oh! On the next episode of Camp Woodward, Zepp is back, but he's not alone. Meet Tazzy Danny, his buddy from down under. Wait till you see these two together. Megan and the girls hit up B3 for a session, and the boys get back down to business in outdoor streets.